Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I'm excited to bring you Winter's Tale Collection from Sarah Davies Signature Collection and our friends at Crafter's Companion. We'll have a money saver bundle, um, all these wonderful goodies, so be sure to check that out. And I have lots of fun projects to show you. So come play with us. So this first card is one that my friend Debbie did, and it's this adorable front door card. Even the door opens to reveal this adorable little uh, fireplace scene in the background, and it's got this embossed brick background. And then you can open the actual card. There we go. It's got this wonderful plaid from the paper pack. So let me show you what's involved here. Um, she got this this wonderful home for Christmas set includes the embossing folder, the door cutting die, as well as the um, fireplace for the inside of the card. And what Debbie did was she took the door and she cut it out of dark brown paper. I should also mention that she used the pine cone and leaves um, cut die cutting set, and that was for the little pine boughs here. And then from the classic wreath, that's where she took the bow and cut that out of red cardstock. But in the meantime, let's do this little coloring technique. So as I said, she cut the door out of brown cardstock, and then this is the Basics Cat IQ, um, and she used the copper color from this, and just did over the top of this, went around the edges of the door frame, like that, made sure to get the frame first. And then you can just use your fingertips and kind of burnish that a little bit. Move that around. Okay, and then she just went sort of lightly over the surface of the embossed panels to bring those forward. And around the window as well. It couldn't be easier to do that. And then this is a little working door so that when you open that up, you can see the little fireplace inside. And she just stamped her fireplace on some, just a light tan cardstock, and then used Spectrum Noir Tri Blend markers to color that in. And I love the little fire at the bottom. Okay, so let's move on to the next fabulous project here. <clears throat> this card, amazing, I love this one. So Debbie did this one as well. It's got this wonderful scattered holly embossing folder. And then she also used the candlelit Christmas. And um, she used some luster polish to do some painting on these. So let's get to that and I'll show you how she did that. So the first thing, I'm gonna need my craft mat, mat back. The first thing Debbie did was she embossed the holly folder on tan cardstock. I'm going to get a couple of baby wipes here because I think I'm going to need them. We're going to get messy. All right. And what she did, she took this um, wonderful luster polish, and this one is Apple Fizz Luster Polish. You know, luster polishes always have these little applicators. And we'll just open this up and just put some scraping it on the edge like that. You want to make sure that the surface of the pad is covered with color, but you don't want big lumpy pieces of that on there. Okay, and then she just took that embossing embossed image and she just went right over the surface, keeping this pad, you want it to keep it really flat. And it's just sort of scraping the top of that embossed holly. Here we go. Here we go. You can see that's so glittery and pretty. And then she used raspberry sorbet luster polish for the little berries. Can see right there, and you could apply this with a paintbrush, or you could just sort of take your pinky and just go over the little clusters like that. 
little berries like this. And really, you just need to worry about getting around the outside edge of the berries like this because the center portion of the card is going to be covered with paper. Okay? There. Clean up that a little bit. Anyway, and then just let that dry a little bit. And then she took the, the dies from the Candle at Christmas and doing the same there, she used the raspberry sorbet on the background here and colored that and as well as coloring the holly leaves. And then she just put that really on a bed of the pine boughs from the pine uh, cones and leaves die. All right, let's move this out of the way. So the next project is this fabulous page. And I love this. Debbie did a couple of great techniques here. Um, take a look at this paper pack too. So she die cut the flourishing tree from a plaid paper from the paper pad, which has all these wonderful colors in it. Gorgeous sort of dark red burgundy colors. And then she die cut from tan cardstock, Santa's sleigh, there we go, and the festive scene, which just really look like little cut out, cutouts from gingerbread. And let me show you, you can zoom in right here, how she did her coloring here. She used some spectrum noir pins on the houses and the trees and up here for Santa and his sleigh and the reindeer. But then she also used this great product, the Cosmic Shimmer Fluffy Stuff, whoops, Fluffy stuff, and I'm going to show you how to use that if you've never tried that before. So let's bring the craft mat back. And let's do the little village here. So, got out our markers. And she just colored the little houses with the markers. And what's great about this, you don't need to worry about if you get some on the roof. It's just fine because we're going to cover that with fluffy stuff. Okay, so that's how that went. And then the trees. Oops, that's the light color. I need to go for the darker color here. All right, so she went ahead and she did a little coloring all the way down imagining that the trees would go low to the ground. All right. And then what you want to do is you add your fluffy stuff to the tops of the trees. And it just sort of goes on like um, just squeezable paint like this. Then when we're going to add heat to it, with our heat gun, it's really gonna fluff up and look like snow. And then she went ahead and she did some along the swirls as well. Now, uh, Debbie put hers on paper for the background and then added the swirls. So I don't have any paper behind mine. So we're just gonna go along the edge here just to give you the general idea. All right. Got my heating tool here. And all heat tools are different. They all have different temperatures involved with them. So you might want to let it warm up a little bit.
okay you can see how that puffed right up and gave a crackle look and it just looked so great and looked like snow so that's just a really fun product to use on your christmas card making and paper crafts so that's what i've got for you today so definitely check out our money saver it's on the right side of your screen and if you're watching us on youtube check out the money saver down in the description as well as links to paperwishes.com where you can check out more videos and all kinds of inspiration and goodies that we have thanks for joining me today